Hey, hey, YouTube, it's Squad JD, back with another video here to talk about what? These narcissists who ain't shit. First off, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Up in this thing, that part right there for your ass. One more time for that ass up. That son bitch ain't shit, okay? That son bitch will never be shit for your ass. I cannot stress that enough. They never will be shit. I, there they go once again. I cannot stand a narcissist. Them sons of bitches will never be shit. There you go once again. Anywho, please like, share, subscribe, and finish thing. That part right there for your ass. One more time. That son of a bitch ain't shit. I, I cannot stand some. I cannot help that shit. I cannot stand some good for nothing. Anywho, the title of this video, guys, is here. The, 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 the traits, okay, that this good for nothing who will never be shit lacks. That's why you can never be happy with this son of a bitch. If you do not get my gist, okay, your ass will right now. Let's get this time. The traits that this good for nothing who will never be be shit, ass narcissist lax. That's why your ass would never be happy with that subject. I'm going to give you the number one stunner, and that's going to be the last one for that ass. Anyway, let's get this started. Number one will be self-reflection for that ass. I cannot stress that enough. That sub bitch will not self-reflect for a Damn, damn, they go right there for your ass. That's one of the, that's one of the traits that that sub bitch do lack as well. Self-reflection. I guess it's there. That sub bitch... Could have saw that 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 you turned the, the pot off on the kettle or something, stop something from burning up on the stove. That something still won't self reflect. You be like, well, daddy, uh, for the lights, daddy, I saw you was boiling water. That's how special that is. I saw that you was boiling water, daddy, and some eggs, daddy, and the the water ran out the pot, daddy, and the eggs, you know, the boiled eggs kind of got caught on fire because it was just in the pot with no water, daddy. That that sub bitch, that raggedy sub bitch, I can't, I cannot stress enough. They ain't shit. They go again. Anyway, that raggedy sub bitch, that good for nothing ass narcissist will look you in your eyes, be like, well, it wasn't me. When I, when, when, when I last checked it, it had water in it. It must have been you. Won't self-reflect for shit. You know what I'm saying? You just, that, that's something that just can't self-reflect and be like, can't say thank you for nothing. You know, thank you, baby, for, for, for. It's same, same for the fellas. I guess it am. It does not matter if it finished time. That good for nothing narcissist could have left the, the, the uh, jacket good for nothing there. That throw her ass up and back up there. She could let the water run in the tub, some on your ass, and that's how it's about to throw water in your ass. And then you go out and you turn the water. Well, baby, you know, I, 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 I turned the water for you, baby, because you know, the water's about to run out the tub, baby. That's how it's good for nothing. We never be shit. Won't, pop, I won't, won't, won't tell you thank you. That won't self reflect on that. Be like, well, you know, that was good. Look, he is a good man. You know, baby, baby, it's a good one. They know you are. I cannot stress enough. They know it. They will never tell you that. Why? See, you gotta, you gotta recognize the gist. See, that's some bitch raggedy. Some bitch, there you go once again. That some bitch will never tell you thank you or they appreciate anything. Why? Because it's all about the nurses. That's why. You may have got that in the beginning. Like, oh, thank you, daddy. Oh, baby, 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 thank you, baby. You, 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 good one. All that extra shit. That's just real your way of saying, you know what I'm saying? But as, as a habit has continued on with you, you never get no praise or, or thank you or anything. But see, I'm telling you something. Being an empath, that you're used to that shit anyway. Okay, so that's enough used to it. So, like, it doesn't matter what you do, you know what I'm saying? You don't expect the praise anyway, like I said, one video, because you've been getting it like that all your life. So, who gives a damn? As long as you're proud of your own self. I, I cannot stress it enough. I, I, I love winners. Winners? That part right there for your ass. Because we have that ability and that power to self-validate our own ass. There you go right there. We have that ability and that power to take our power back up in this time. You may think you don't have that power, but you got that power all damn day. Every day, you just ain't got tired enough. That's all just. See, you tired, but you just ain't tired enough. See, once you get to that level of tired, you're a winner. I cannot stress enough. It will happen for you as one of the select. There it is there. It's going to come a point in time you're going to get so tired that you're going to walk the hell away from this good for nothing, raggedy ass, nothing ass narcissist. I cannot stress it enough. Let me tell you what God said about a, 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 a son of a bitch that, that, that has no self-control. That part right there. A person who lacks self-control, this is what God views about them. He said, a person lacking self-control is like a city, okay, with no walls in it. I'm going to get I'm gonna get a gist on that. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge, that all comes from the higher power. I cannot stress that enough. Knowledge is one thing of knowing of everything. Like, I can tell you how to be a chef if I had to. I can tell you how to do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can teach me things. It's knowledge. Okay, wisdom is knowing and understanding of the word of, of the God. Of, Bible. You know, that's the Holy Spirit. He gives you that. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, I took that far as in a person who's lose self-control. That's right there. Has no self-control. That right there. 
Self control comes from the high power. If you didn't know, now you ass know. That's why you control yourself. You know what I'm saying? You may get mad, maybe at one time you probably could control yourself, but you, you taught yourself, you got the type of power, high power, you know, you control your shit. Y'all give a damn how 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 mad this noise is making your ass. You, it takes a lot to trigger you. That's what I mean right there. Them sons of bitches that shit. They designed to the trigger your ass. That's, that's what they want to do. They want you to come up about your character because them sons of bitches out of character every day. I can't stand them. They will never be shit for your ass. There you go once again. Any city with no walls, which is and meaning is, okay, you lack control, you good for nothing, raggedy ass narcissist. You might as well be in your place where you live there with the walls tore all the way down and let everybody see the fool that you really are. Do you get me just to get what I'm saying? Think about the parable of self, a person with lack of self control is like a city with no walls, right? So that's good for nothing, narcissist who would never be shit. That's something that has no control. They lack self control. Every time you're out there in the public, the somebody's showing their ass. I guess down in the house, the somebody's showing their ass. That's what he meant by that. A person of lack of control is like a city with no walls. Everybody can see your business. You know, that do you give me just to get what I'm saying? That's what that good for nothing narcissist is. You know what I'm saying? God don't like, he calls them fools. All day, I cannot stress it enough. He calls them fools. He even calls the, the narcissist a fool. He said the fools want to be kings and gods. And so them sons of bitches ain't shit. They ain't never shit. Yeah, you know, can a narcissist go to heaven? I'm gonna get back to that gist. Can a narcissist go to heaven? A narcissist can't go to heaven all day, every day. But see, the gist behind that, they gotta self reflect. That's one thing I said they cannot do, okay? They cannot self reflect. That's one of the, the, the traits that that raggedy summits do not have. So, you first have to self reflect, you know, accept Christ as your Lord, so you believe God did when, when it happened. See, if you got that spirit with in you, okay, so you have that Holy Spirit in your ass. I guess a damn you went back to the sea. That spirit within you is gonna reassure you that that shit happened. You give me just you get what I'm saying. That faith that you have gonna reassure the miracles that you only see in your life reassures you that the high power exists. We all receive miracles and gifts and presents from the high power. I cannot stress that enough. You can manifest your own things in life. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have the faith and believe that God gonna do what God said he gonna do. Faith moves the hands. Remember, prayer is blessings on blessings. I cannot stress that enough. You know, you pray for your family, God just bless them and your ass too. You know, I pray for the world also, even the ones that's ignorant of Special, they don't know the high power. You know what I'm saying? I pray for us, but I try to educate a man knowledge of what about the high power. It is what it is, but hey, I'm not going to force nobody on your ass. You know what I'm saying? God don't force himself on nobody as well. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. He's my example and I follow. So, idiot! That's one of the traits that this son of bitch do not have a self reflection. Let me get another trait for this raggedy son of bitch. Another side uh, 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 is countability for your ass. That probably thing for your ass. I guess it am. You could have saw the noise and steal a piece of gum or something about this store, and you, you ain't a thief. You 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 one of the ones you select. You got money. You do your thing. The noises ain't shit. The noises will steal from anybody. They give them that. I can't stress them. I can't stand them. You may see this son of a piece of bubble gum or something. For for else? For for else? Well, baby, 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 that that damn baby. I could have bought you the gum, baby. You'd have to steal. Now y'all got pulled, put hemmed up or something in the store because shoplifting or whatever. Because this ragged ass noises want to do something, didn't want to show out in the store. They have no self control. Man, that son of a bitch want to show out in the store like, I didn't take that guy. I, I, I bought this. No one going to that good for nothing who never be shit, took the shit. I, I can't stand some. Can't take no accountability for shit. You could have caught this door and cheating on your ass. You could have had paperwork, documents, pictures, and everything. That son of a bitch never made it. That was not the nonsense. That noise, that good for nothing noise who would never be shit. I cannot stand some raggedy sons of bitches. But look you in your eyes and be like, well, did you tap me on my shoulder, daddy? See, that's how you got to do these raggedy sons of bitches. I believe this too. Though. If you saw that good for nothing who would never be shit doing what they was doing to cheat, they would never take accountability. There you go once again. And you was to walk up over there and tap that raggedy, nasty ass on the shoulder and be like, what's going on? What was going on, baby? That's how much you still deny that shit in your face. So, this is my cousin, daddy. Them sons of bitches have cousins, play cousins, play brothers, play uncles, all that type of shit on your way. Talking about their family. Them sons of bitches ain't even family. Them sons of bitches ain't shit. And I cannot stand them. They never be shit. There you go once again. Any accountability for shit. So, I for the ladies. I get it there. You could come, oh, good for nothing ass. Bobby, good for nothing ass. Well, daddy, uh. I looked at your phone there and I told you how you was texting your whole girl and stuff. Y'all was all on this. That, that, that's that ragged son of a bitch. Look you in your eyes and be like, uh-huh. <laughs> girl, that's, that, that, that's my cousin. That is my long cousin. You, 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 you tripping for nothing. Don't come about this raggedy son of a bitch line. That's what I'm saying. They have play cousins, uncles, play sisters, play nieces, all type of shit on your ass. Got you thinking that these ain't family. Them sons of bitches ain't shit. That's who they sleeping with on your ass. I cannot stand some nasty ass narcissists. I can't stand some. 
Any of that's enough. They won't take accountability for shit. You catch them sons of bitches, them sons of bitches deny that shit in your face. They give them down. They didn't do it. That's why I can't stand them. How you gonna go in the kingdom of heaven like that? You can't take accountability for your own actions. You can't self reflect. You can't repent. So how they somebody gonna make it to heaven? Them no sons of bitches will never do that. Why? Because they don't think they're doing nothing wrong. They think what they're doing is justified and is right. That's why God called them fools. You want you want to be kings and gods of your own ass. You want to be worshipped and, and praised. Them sons of bitches ain't shit. Take your power back. Stop worshiping and praising this raggedy ass son of bitch. That's a man. That's a woman. That's flesh and blood, just like your ass. Second commandment says, neither we should neither bow down nor serve them raggedy sons of bitches. That's what you talking about. Don't bow down and serve that shit. You still bow down and serve so you serve the high power. That's the one gonna bless your ass every day. That's the one waking your ass up. That's the one gonna get you strength to, to achieve, accomplish what you gotta do that day. And also they're gonna do shit that cause misery and pain and have your day disrupted in sadness. So that's what good is that? That's the devil all day. If you can't recognize the sign, I'm telling your ass, that is the devil. The fruits is not is, is not bearing good fruit to your ass. That's fruit, fruit wicked as hell. You can't tell me shit. That narcissist ain't shit. That narcissist rocks with the damn devil. The the, the top stunner of narcissists is, is, is Satan. He he's the, the lead ring leader. He's the first narcissist. He had a third language. He tricked and deceived them. Them them ragged sons bitches. They followed his good for nothing ass up and finally they all got slammed up about that thing. They the minions of his ass the angels. You think about it. The narcissist ain't nothing but the minions, the minion for the damn devil. The, the narcissist is doing the devil's work. That probably takes you ass. He just is just, just possessing these raggedy sons of bitches because they, they so special and just got them running around here like vessels. They don't even seem to know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, but they get so damn. They feel like, because that devil talks to them so tough, like, it's okay. Hey, ain't shit anyway. You deserve this. You, you are entitled. That part of that, you ain't entitled to shit, you raggedy ass. You entitled to wake up and uh, what, what was the Papa say? Be fruitful and die and multiply. That part right that's all that you entitled to do. That's what Papa said. I can't stand them. They ain't shit. Feel so entitled to everything your ass got. You can just met this raggedy ass narcissist. That narcissist got two dollars in the bank. You sitting on about ten thousand in the bank. That narcissist just met your ass for twenty four hours. That narcissist feel that ten thousand is theirs. I can't stand some sons of bitches. Like you raggedy good for nothing. You ain't put in, put in none of this work for this money, but they feel entitled to that money. That's why I can't stand them. I cannot stand them. Take your power back. You're stronger and you are better than that good for nothing ass nonsense. Quit doubting your own ass towards it and you think you just can't do no better because it's raggedy son, bitch. You can do way hella better. And you know you can. See, that's the devil that loses ties in your ass playing tricks on your mind as well. The devil talk to the select as well. I cannot stress that enough. So does a high power. You just got to recognize it to two. Difference. You do, but you just it's pretty much ignoring the high power. You know when the devil talking to your ass because the devil's like telling you, yeah, yeah, yeah. whoop they ass. Ooh, how they talking to you? Ooh, 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 I'd be mad if that was me. That type of shit right there to get you out your elements and shit like that. Then you got the high power up in there, like it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You know, they crucified Jesus all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? What makes us any great? That part right there for your ass. That's a high power talking to your ass. But the other part of that uh, of that is the devil who will never be shit as well. That's something that's gonna always try to deceive you and get you to do some shit. See, let me tell you something. The devil know all the trigger buttons. I cannot stress that enough. That's something that's know everything to get you upset. He, he watched us, he's learned us, he's observed us. He, he know your flaws. You know your, your strengths, you know your weaknesses. He'll bring that weakness to you. Say you're an addict of something, he'll bring that to you to your world just to, to sway you off the path that you stand strong in what you believe in. I cannot stress it enough. Don't let that devil the Bible say resist the devil and he shall flee. You think about it when Jesus, that son of a bitch, raggedy ass son of a bitch try to tip tip the higher power. If you bow down to me, what are you gonna tell? Him? You bow down to me. You know, it's when the Lord was fasting 40 days, 40 nights. You bow down to me, I'll give you everything about him. All the riches, all the gold, all the women, whatever you want. I got your ways. You know what I'm saying? That's that son, bitch, ain't shit. JC, so that's my brother. I cannot stress him, my savior all day, day. He looked at his ass and told his ass, Thou shalt not tip the Lord thy God. That son, bitch, didn't know what to say. Like, huh? Huh? No matter how many times that raggedy son, bitch, that was the top stuff. That's the number one narcissist. Jesus was tempted by the number one. Didn't give up, didn't, didn't sway him or nothing. Stayed motivated, stayed positive, stayed on his mission. That was the example for all of us. You know what I'm saying? We're not perfect like Christ, right? But we can strive to be as perfect as him. We got to get to that just where it's in. Like when that devil tried to tempt his ass, he's like, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God, him shall I only serve. That part right there for your way. See, if you're in this habit, you're serving that son of a bitch. It's like God don't like that. It's like you're straddling the fence. It's like you're serving two masters. It's like you're worshiping high power. But then on the other hand, you're serving this raggedy ass narcissist because you're trying to please and 
This no, I just happy. The only one you gotta please make happy is a high power. That that's the top dog. That's the top stunner to give and take up. Like that noises ain't shit. God has made many other selects just like your ass. Whereas then you ain't gotta be worried about trying to please nobody. Y'all gonna make each other happy. That part right there for your ass. See, don't get out the habit towards and you think you gotta wake up to, to make somebody happy. You can never make somebody happy. You cannot do that. I cannot stress enough. See, those are gifts from the Holy Spirit. If you didn't know, I'm telling you, see, God gives us all gifts. Well, you know, it's knowledge. Wisdom, that's, that's some gifts from the spirit, you know what I'm saying? High intuitive, that part right there, yeah, I saw this, I had empathy all day, every day, every day. One of the, one of the, one of the gifts as well. You know, where you can self reflect, you know, hey, I, I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have did this. Yeah, wisdom, wisdom all day is like you understanding the Bible. I don't care how the Bible is written, you that spirit with up in you, you're gonna give you the knowledge to understand what they're saying. That part right there for you, all types of gifts that the Lord gives you. He gives you the, uh, the, uh, the strength of, 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 of strength, you know, happiness. See, without God, like I said, once you feel that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even happiness and joy. You may have your sad, your sad and down moments. Oh, we all do. You know what I'm saying? We human. You know what I'm saying? Well, God always lifts us up and brings us up about that thing. And the artists always stay sad and depressed. They, I cannot help. They, they, they can't help. They, those bitches is miserable. And they're so stupid that they don't realize that they're rocking with the devil. And it's like, how do you not know? How you not know because they can't self-reflect? Like I said, that's another another problem that some sons of bitches have. Any of you, let me give you the top stunner trait that this son of bitch. They got many of them because sons of bitches raggedy and shit. I can't stress enough. The number one top stunner will cre creates all of this like lack of respect for your ass. No self-reflection for your ass. No, 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 no. No take accountability for shit for your ass. Just got to just lie all the time. He's raggedy sons of bitches. So you think about it, this is, uh, Satan is the, 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 the master of lies. See, you just get upset. He lied to them angels up there in heaven. They thought he was so fine. Ooh, Lucifer, you just so fine. Ooh, you should have been God. You know, they all that blew his head up. That's what got his ass, his ego. You know what I'm saying? Same with that narcissist. You know what I'm saying? It's the ego. That's what got Lucifer. Same with the narcissist. They have this high sense of self. You know, this ego. Like, they just more superior. Like, hit Lucifer, raggedy ass. How you gonna be more superior than a creator? How you gonna be special? That's so crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? The top stunner of narcissists is a fallen angel. What the hell is going on? Okay, I mean, streets of gold, and heaven has many mansions. Everybody loving everybody, everybody turned up. They turned up in heaven. If you don't, if you don't I'll tell you something. They, they turned up up there in heaven. Okay, I stress that enough. They having fun up there. And your raggedy, good for nothing ass decided you, you wanted it. You just got to have it, huh? That shit was not gonna happen. I'm trying to tell you something. Papa only gave his ass one time. That's what I'm saying. That is our example. One time, kick his ass out. He gave no second chance, no benefit of the doubt. Well, I may just give him no, none of that. Papa Showstopper, get your ass out. End of discussion. I give the damn. You know what I'm saying? The 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 history of that is Michael the Archangel, the strongest angel of all. He he's the one that banished Lucifer. Which I believe is true, but J.C. Big Bro Bro could have did it himself. But why? He's the king. That part right there for your ass. He ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna do it for his ass. That's why I, I, I love J.C. You know what I'm saying? J.C. could have looked at that good for nothing raggedy ass devil that's just started. That's something that's been slung up by. He threw his ass up by that as a bolt of lightning. Jesus beheld him. Okay, slung about the thing as a bolt of lightning. That's fast as hell. So, you know, when he hit that impact on his life, that shit stung his ass up. Who gives a damn? He immortal any damn way. That's why that body gonna always burn up in that fire. I give a damn. I can't stand his ass either. Because you know why he got these good for nothing ass narcissists walking around here being uh, this, this loser type. But I don't really get mad at his ass. Even though I don't like him. I can't stand his ass. Top dog, papa all day, every day. It's because it's free will in this thing. That son of a bitch, that ratly ass devil cannot do no more to you than you allow him to do to you. Same as you. Winner. That narcissist is the devil all day. day. I cannot stress that enough. That son bitch cannot do no more to you than you allow. You, you, you don't have to listen to the devil. You don't have to follow this son bitch ways. You don't have to, to praise him or uplift him because that is not your God. I cannot stress that enough. That is not the one who gave you life. That son bitch ain't shit. That son bitch will never be shit. Get up about the delusion towards you think this is all you got. This is all you need. That is nothing. The high power is all you need. I cannot stress it enough. I don't want to be alone because I... I'm so tired of being alone. Who gives a damn? Jesus walked this earth alone. All he had was his papa. I'm trying to tell your ass. You'd be more happy when you're alone. Get your mind right, elevate yourself. Then you ready for somebody that's out there that you really ready for. Your mind is elevated. You renewed your mind. You super empathed up on this thing. You, you can recognize shit when it comes your way. Man, you on point right there. You got superpowers. 
Respect yourself. Love yourself more. Value yourself more. A son bitch will not value you because you need to value your own ass even more. You do, but you don't because you're letting that son bitch constantly devalue you. You know you're worth more than that. You know you deserve better than that. Quit tolerating that shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about nobody asses. I did it as well. I took my power back. You know what I'm saying? I went supernova many times up in that thing. Empaths got pissed off. I got tired of getting pissed off. That was just a waste of energy. I was so drained when that shit was over with. That habit had ended for my ass. The size of bitches will drain your ass. I cannot stress it enough. Like I said, when that habit ended on my ass, I couldn't even recognize myself. I was just like, who is this up in this thing? I'm looking all sad milk with the high power of top dog all day. Every took that shit up out of my ass. I cannot stress it enough. Thank you, Father, for that. I, I appreciate it. All day. I love them all day, every day. I cannot stress that enough. Took that pain for me and brought me back to who I am. Made me a stronger and better man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It taught me a lesson, too. Teaching you a lesson, too. I'm trying to give you the game. You know what I'm saying? That narcissist would never be shit for your ass. The top stunner is empathy. See what I'm saying? That's why that narcissist has all those other traits. See, if the son of a bitch had empathy, empathy is the core of every damn thing. Without no empathy, you ain't shit. I cannot stress that enough. You How, how you gonna self-reflect? How you, you lie all damn day because you have no empathy. You don't care about lying. Because who gives a damn? Just like I said, Satan is the master of lies. Do you get me just do you get what I'm saying? See, empathy is the, the top dog. Empathy is like, I should have said that. Like I said, one bitch, I should have. I went a little hard on Jeffrey's ass. I went a little hard. I called him everything but child. Of he, that, he makes me so mad. It makes me so upset. And then you go back and you apologize to Jeffrey ass. That's the part right there. You know what I'm saying? You had everything. You, you thought about it. You see how he looking and stuff. You just feeling his emotions. Like this. Jeff, I apologize. But you're sincere. You mean this shit. So I ain't gonna balance. I can't start it up. I can't start it up. You know what I'm saying? Good for nothing ass. Connie, good for nothing ass. Well, you know, baby, baby. Baby, all way talking shit, though. I just, I just wasn't feeling it today. I just, I did go a little hard on her ass. It's not her fault that this, this, this shit is happening for me. And you go apologize, you know what I'm saying? You self reflect and your empathy. You know what I'm saying? That part right there for your ass. And you genuine. And you know what I'm saying? God forgives your ass for that. He loves that type of shit. He wants us all to love each other. He don't want us to be serving each other, bowing down to each other. Hell, he's a top star. He wants you to bow down and serve his ass. I cannot stress that enough. Take your power back. The selfish should never be shit. See, that's why the selfish is always going to give you all what you want because it, the selfish is like empathy. With no empathy, there's nothing. I can't stress it enough. How can you love somebody if you have no empathy? Empathy is love. That's self-reflection. You can look and say, it's love. I shouldn't have said that to his ass. That's love all damn day, every day. God is love. If you didn't know, now your ass know. That's why that narcissist has no love. Because that narcissist do not have the Lord up in their ass. The high power. Do you get me just, do you get me saying? God is everything except evilness, wickedness. Untruthfulness. I know he's none of that. That's all devil work right there. These diseases and famines and shit. That's that's not God. That's 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 that's, that's the world of okay? the Satan. You know what I'm saying? We create this shit for our own self because we allow that raggedy son bitch come in our lives and then control some shit. That's what I'm saying. Take your power back. Quit allowing this raggedy son of bitch who will never self reflect, never take accountability, never appreciate shit you do. You know what I'm saying? That you stand in your life. Why? You wasting time. You got other shit out there you could be doing. You could be way even more greater and successful. You know what I'm saying? But what's holding you back is this raggedy son of a bitch. See, that's, that's, that's the whole gist. The devil sent that son of a bitch back there to hold you back. Cause some, the devil don't want you to go to the level you want, you're supposed to be at. The high power got a whole different level for your ass. He's just trying to wake your ass up to where then you can go to that high level. I cannot stress enough. See, after you leave that habit, it's blessings on blessings on blessings. The Lord just waiting for you to just wake up. I'm trying to wake your ass up. I can't make you leave the losses. But I hope you do. I can give you advice to leave that narcissist because that son bitch will never be shit for your ass. What you see is what you get. That son bitch will never change. I cannot stress that enough. I give a damn. How many years you been in this habit? That son bitch ain't changed for you. You keep banking on the wish and the hopes and dreams that somebody's gonna flip someday and one gonna be great. That son bitch will never be great. That son bitch will never be shit. There you go once again. I can't stand so. They'll never be shit for your ass. They just a damn about your ass. They're jealous of you. They don't like you. They only with your ass because you have the qualities that they don't have. They love those traits. See, when they're out in the world with your ass, you make them shine, make them seem like they're that their type. You're the character that you are, that you make it its reflection on them. Like, now nah, that's just how I am. I'm the same way as that. Well, that narcissist know that narcissist ain't shit. That's how they, they intertwine in circles and shit and, so, and meet other people because they reflecting off of you, acting like they're like you. Well, you know good well that narcissist ain't shit. Expose that raggedy ass son of a bitch. Quit validating shit that you know ain't shit. You take that son of a bitch out of that son of a bitch, what a baby fool. You good for nothing. When we get home, you gonna dog my ass out. Bust that son of a bitch out. That son of a bitch ain't shit. 
I can't stand some. Quit, quit sparing that son bitch's feelings. The son bitch don't give a damn about yours. See, that's the problem with us women. We can always sparing their feelings because you got that empathy. You got that Christ like up here. I ain't mad at you. It is what it is. You don't want to hurt folks' feelings, but I'm telling you something. Stop it. Stop sparing feelings that, that don't deserve to be spared. You speak your mind. You speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? You better than that shit. You know you are. You don't have to t t take that shit. You don't have to do it. You take it because you're choosing to take it. I'm not mad at you, okay? You, you love this raggedy ass narcissist. I love the raggedy narcissist too. But I'm telling you, what, that narcissist ain't shit. That narcissist ain't gonna do nothing but keep holding you back from what you, your true purpose is. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something higher than what you're doing right now. What you're doing right now ain't shit compared to what the high power wants your ass to be doing. He just wants you to wake up and realize that, hey, that's how much ain't shit. He telling you all damn day. I'm telling your ass something ain't shit. Keep your heads up, winners, all day, every day. JD out.